As soon as the Reserve Bank of India announced a 50 basis points rate hike, it set the banks and NBFCs in motion to institute a series of rate increases. HDFC increased its interest rate on home loans by another 50 basis points. It has now raised rates by 90 basis points in a month. ICICI Bank, Bank of Baroda, RBL and Federal Bank have also increased rates. But it's not just the lending rates that are rising, deposit rates are also rising. DBS Bank and Central Bank of India have hiked fixed deposit rates from 10 basis points to 50 basis points across tenors. Regarding banks deciding on rate increases, Yes Bank's board took a big decision last week to exit the reconstruction scheme. The board recommended to its shareholders that a new board of directors be put in place. The RBI-appointed board had taken charge of the bank nearly two years ago to arrest a run on the bank. The bank had also improved its capital to risk weighted asset ratio since then. However, the announcement did not receive much response from the shareholders regarding stock price movement. Investors will still be in a wait out watch mode before deciding the future course of action. Moving from banking to insurance, the government announced an increase in premiums for its two flagship insurance schemes, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana. The prime premium for the life insurance scheme PMJJBY, which offers a cover of 2 lakh rupees, was raised from 330 rupees to 436 rupees, whereas the premium for accident insurance was hiked from 12 rupees to 20 rupees. The life insurance scheme had 64.1 million subscribers and the accident insurance had 220 million at the end of last financial year. One of the reasons for increase in premiums was that claims were higher than the amount collected under both the schemes. From government decisions, let's move back to RBI's announcements. Along with its rates decision, RBI announced a revision of limits for housing loans given by cooperative banks. RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das, while doubling limits, said that rural cooperative banks that have a net worth of 100 crore rupees and above can lend now up to 50 lakh rupees per individual housing loan as against the previous cap of 20 lakh rupees. In contrast, others can give loans up to 75 lakh rupees. Urban cooperative banks can lend up to 1.4 crore rupees. The move is expected to further increase access to affordable housing. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky I am the inspiration that lets success so high I will Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.